that camera rolling. Ron Simmons, Teddy Long. Oh shit, it's Stevie Ray. Hey, keep that Let's camera rolling. Keep, keep that keep. camera rolling. Because I'm looking, I'm looking to get a shot of my man right there. And then I got this joker right here. Get a camera this dude right here, man. I got one question. Why is he behind the table? All the chatter. All the chatter. Uh, what is he taking the money? Is he he's collecting the money? What is he doing? I've already explained. All America. Boogie, will you please step out here for a second? Title match wrestling. Stand up for greatness. Couple of seconds with the awesome, one of the most notorious, one of the most iconic professional wrestlers in the history of this business. Booker T. Harlem Heat couldn't be beat. Stevie Ray and Booker T made it real. <laughs> and that's coming from yours truly. <laughs> the boogie man. <laughs> you just heard it. You just heard it. You just heard it from the boogie man. I have nothing to do with that. That is what he does. That is what he does. So stand back. That's the real man right there. Appreciate it, Boogie. Appreciate it. Now bring that camera this way. Bill and I, bring that camera this way. Now for, for, all, for, for everybody out there that don't know, this is Dwight. What he does, I have no idea. Okay? I have no idea what he does, but he's in the booth with the Boogeyman, one of the most iconic figures in the history of professional sports. So Dwight, for all the fans out there, can you please tell us, what do you do? Nothing. I'm looking for Wait a, a job. Yeah. Looking for a job. Wait a minute. He's behind the table at Rousselcom. People, let me quarterback this thing for you. Usually when we have somebody behind, no, 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 you didn't want to say nothing, I'll take it. You know, uh, usually when we have somebody behind the table, they're taking the money, they're, they're making sure the people are set up for pre-sales, things of that nature. I would like to know what this man does, but he doesn't even know himself. So I'm trying to figure that out. But he's in the table with the boogeyman. I walk around the table, I don't see the boogeyman. You know what I see? I see Dwight, okay? I'm not looking for Dwight. I mean, how many tickets this guy ever sold? None. I mean, how many pitches this guy ever sold? None. I mean, how, how, how many wrestling conventions this guy ever been to? I think this is his first one. And I want to stop. I want to get it out there to the people. Now, Dwight, yeah, we're going to try it again. Bring, zoom in close to him. Dwight, what are you doing here? Hanging out with my man here. Oh, no, having no, no, having hanging fun. Hanging out with my man. You know? <laughs> hey, look, do, do the boogeyman really need somebody to hang out with? Huh? Does he really need somebody to hang out with? Well, I just want to get him on blast. Ah, oh, somebody got to do the pictures. Now he wants to bring that up. You know what I'm saying? How many times? How many times? If I was the boogeyman, you know what I would do? Nah, no, I don't say it. We don't even want nobody to know. But the way we appreciate the time, how little time it was. We appreciate it. Thanks for nothing. Uh, <laughs>